Hi, this is Deacon Julio, broadcasting from one of my three major gardens, and we're here in the Garden of St. Francis, uh, where I hope to share some uh, interesting reflections about St. Francis. And what I'm going to share today is something that I had a wonderful mentor, a uh, Franciscan mentor, that taught me what I'm going to share with you. Now, some of the things I'll say, you may not like me with what I say, but it's true. And maybe you can understand it in your own life. Francis, who gave up everything, a life of luxury, to be the people's deacon. He never wanted to be a priest. He just wanted to serve people. And so that's what Francis's life is all about, about giving. Um, I want to share what the first truth of life is. And it comes from the fact that life is hard. Life is hard, no matter who we are. There's always hardships in our lives. We have deaths. Uh, we have people that lose their jobs. We have divorces. We have children uh, that are hurt. Life is hard. But God gives us those moments of wonderful feelings of joy in the birth of a child, or a baptism, a, um, a birthday party for your grandkids. All these wonderful things God gives us. You know, Francis called the sun Brother Moon, and he called um, the moon Sister Moon. We're all united in this wonderful uh, creation that God gives us to raise us up times of hardship and times when we lose hope. The second truth of life is that you are going to die. Both of us, we are all faced with death at our door someday. And during this coronavirus, the deaths, we must pray for the families and for the souls of all that is lost. But we have a Christ who has just celebrated Easter, the resurrected Christ, that calls us to be with him that is always with us in good times and bad times and in those hours that we near our death. The third truth is that none of us are in control of anything. While God knows all the hairs of our head, we try to control things to be our way. We try things to be fixed. But as Mary said, let it be done unto me. She just let God work in her life. And so we must realize that we are not in control. We need to have life happens through God's will, through God's eyes. And that's what Francis did. He just listened to the Lord and worked his works as of God in him. The next truth is that you are not that important. I am not that important. Because we don't think we shouldn't think of ourselves higher than other people. We have movie stars and we have the, the drama uh, of people that are in high places, the rich people. Uh, we hear those on those magazines. But in the long run, we are all the same in God's eyes. No one is more important than each one of us. God looks at each one of us and our needs and our hopes and our dreams the same way. And he favors no one. He just loves each one of us. And the last truth with uh, St. Francis is, like I said, he gave up everything. And that last truth is that life is not about you. Life is about what we can do for others. We have a mentality sometimes of the I. I am in charge of myself. I want this. I need this. But in the long run, it is God who controls and gives us what we need. And so I leave you with these reflections here in this garden of St. Francis who loved all and served all. So have a good day and God bless each one of you. Amen.